Desire to Learn, or D2L, has been in use at Conestoga College for close to a year now, but isn't making communication between staff and students better. Those at Conestoga are still getting accustomed to the new technology. Professor and coordinator at Conestoga College, Kim Denstedt, shares her experience. Um, however, I would say with D2L, there's a few issues. I find the I find the email system a little cumbersome, and it took me two or three tries to figure out how to actually get an email sent because there's several different clicks that you have to go through. Regardless of the apparent problems, D2L still strives to be an effective and quick communication medium between professors and their students. As Software Network Administrator at D2L, Curtis Price, explains. And it allows them to work in an environment where everything is interactive. So a teacher may put up uh, a sort of uh, documentation about the course, something to do with calculus, but then at the same time put up problems that you can do online which give you instant feedback so there's no time in waiting for a teacher to give you oh you're right oh you're wrong but the desire to learn website is still undergoing changes and price affirms that any new obstacles students encounter will be met head on by the company we don't shy away from problem we don't try and hide it we don't try and mask it we deal with it in the future d2l may offer more for graduates allowing users to publish their own content develop an online resume and e-portfolio. For Spoke TV, I'm Steve Radzinski.